Hello, Julie and the rest of the Fort William Family Health team. Thank you so much for the opportunity to tell you a little bit about IntelliDash period. IntelliDash is a real-time reporting dashboard that reports on clinical and operational metrics in your family health team. You can see this divided into six major categories. What you'll notice is that IntelliDash is broken into two major areas, clinical metrics and operational metrics. Clinical metrics involve those types of performance measures relating to how your patients are doing clinically, such as their diabetes care, whether their uh, cancer screening is up to date, the status of how well flu vaccines are being done in your practice. Operational metrics are more looking at how your clinic is functioning. Some of the metrics we're looking at there are the total number of no-shows, how many appointments the providers in your practice are seeing, and whether there's any billing opportunities that are being missed. So let me take you on a quick tour of some of the major parts of the dashboard. This is the integrated cancer performance screen. Just excuse this past month with the little glitch right here, but what you can see here is that for a particular doctor, this tells you their screening rate as of the day that you're looking at the dashboard. So it's real time. And over time, you can see how the physician is performing with regard to their breast, cervical cancer, and colorectal screening. The beauty about our dashboard is that you can drill down right to the patient level of detail and use that information to then give to your staff to, in this case, perhaps recall these patients to have their screening test done. The other beauty about IntelliDash is that we can send reminders to patients via SMS and email, and this system will do it automatically. So in our case, we send off SMS messages to patients to remind them to do their cancer screening five minutes before their appointment. It really has shown a huge impact in the way we do our preventative care. Another really interesting part of our dashboard is the ability for, our pa for us to collect patient feedback on the services we're performing. And what we do is we ask question, ask patients one particular question one hour after they leave the office by SMS. And in this case, these are questions that are the um, provincial quality improvement questions. You can see this question, when you see all providers, how often do they spend enough time with you? This is a cumulative response, but we do break it down by all the providers in our team as you can say see over here but for our whole family health team what you can see is that on this question when patients are given a, an option of five different options always often sometimes rarely and never 84 percent of patients say that we always spend enough time with them and so this goes a long way to trying if you're trying to improve patient experience in your in your team this will really go a long way one of the operational metrics that we look at is the billings and in this screen you can look at some of the commonly used codes that are outside the basket and how we try to maximize those so if we look at Q040 which is the diabetes management code that is billed yearly, you can see that of my 155 di patients with diabetes, there are still four patients that are outstanding that have not been billed this code. And again, this is being updated daily. When I clicked on that pie chart, it told me how well I've been doing on billing this code over the past year and how much money that code has brought into, uh, brought to me over the years. So you can see your performance on that code. The real beauty 
here is that I can click on this little button here and it'll bring me the list of those four patients that have not yet been billed. So then you can give that list, which is exportable in Excel, to a staff member to go ahead and, and review the chart and bill it. Similarly, you can do this for uh, K030, Q050, E079, and A002. What we've noticed is that physicians have gained approximately one to two thousand dollars a year just with this screen alone. This is a diabetes management screen and what you'll see here is that of my patients with diabetes this screen this pie chart will tell you how well you've been doing with A1C screening over the past six months so you can see I have roughly 52 percent screening rate and here all my patients my 155 patients are broken down by their A1C their latest A1C and you can see here that a good 39 percent of them have an A1C over 9 percent 33 have an A1C that's under 7 percent and again the beauty here is that you can click on any one of these and it will uh, drill down to the patient names that you can then give to a staff member to call those patients. Over here, this data is pulled directly from Oscar telling you that uh, what proportion of these of your patients have had a blood pressure, eye exam, foot exam, waist circumference recorded, and a weight. And this tells you over time how you've been doing. The last really interesting aspect I want to show you on the chart is our ability to also track how your staff are performing with customer service. And here you can see a screenshot of that in our team period. The patient is asked again after their appointment, I believe half an hour after their appointment, which staff member provides you exceptional service today? And you can see in real time we can collect responses from patients and then use this data to now incent our staff to provide great service to their patients. This is again being done on a monthly basis. So in summary, in Teladash, is a real-time reporting dashboard that's been tailored for primary care. The beauty about this is that it's being done automatically, pulling data from Oscar, and we can tailor the metrics that if you don't find them here in these six broad categories, we can tailor metrics that suit the needs of your team. Any metrics that we develop for any of our clinics that we now have approximately 40 clinics using this platform will be available to everyone else. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity this morning to share this with you. Please contact me if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.